Say the word! God damn cat! You take 33 damage. All right, folks, looks like we're about ready. Let's just uh, let this horrifying modern reality just fade into the background. Let's instead come together in our collective imaginations as heroes and warriors and Calliope. Let's enter the mind dungeon. Tell me when it all started. The camera's gonna be on me the whole time. I think now is a good time uh, to get your introduction. So uh, if you just I'm Terry, just Slummer. Uh, if you just look at the camera oh, and uh, sure. yeah, tell yeah. us your name and uh, okay. what's going on. I'm Terry Plummer. Once upon a time, I was pre-med undergraduate at UW. Seems like a different life now, but it, things were going pretty good at the time. Can you tell me about the first time? Yeah, it was a Saturday. Uh, I was cramming for a test. Joey showed up. He had it with him. I really should have just said no. Why didn't you? There was just a lot going on in that, that time of my life. And I needed to blow off steam. And quite frankly, I wanted to be a different person for a while. There was a time when nothing mattered more to me than my family. But then I was diagnosed with AODDS and my entire world turned upside down. My family just isn't as rewarding as Dungeons and Dragons. Wow. That's a... Powerful statement. Yeah, well, it's a great game. It's good for Anthony to have some adult friends. Oh yeah, Beth here thinks I spent a little too much time at the Build-A-Bear on the mall. That's true. But you love them, right? Who? Your family. Yeah, they're okay. I'm sure he still loves us very much. What makes you say that? <laughs> I'm a single mom, three kids, and I work two jobs just to make ends meet, which is all oh, this. <clears throat> but Gwendolyn, my dark elf rogue, she doesn't have any kids. My name is Tara Weisenberg, and I have AODDS. This condition has been dubbed AODDS, or Adult Onset Dungeons and Dragons Syndrome. AODDS strikes without mercy, leaving tragic victims straining to maintain some semblance of normal life while trapped in the dungeon of their own minds. And then, out of the shadows of the alleyway creeps. That same dog you saw from before. Can I roll to see if he's a good boy? You don't have to roll. He is a good boy. I think I first met Terry on a Buffy the Vampire Slayer message board back on AIM. And most of us were exchanging fan fiction and role playing. But I remember Terry's descriptions of neck biting were always the best. So when he started asking people to join his Vampire the Masquerade tabletop game, I was all in. How did that go? Oh, yeah, well. <laughs> Yeah, um, yeah, it wasn't so much a game as it was just a bunch of us going to bars pretending to be vampires. And how about you, Kevin? Do you enjoy playing with Tara's kids while your dad role plays? They're all right, I guess. Sometimes my friend Billy and I- Billy is my favorite. Oh God, I wish he was mine. <laughs> uh, in addition to this one, they're both my favorite. Oh, and my wife. Lovely, they're both just so cute. I want to pinch their little cheeks. <laughs> um, you know, I was one of the most popular kids in high school. You know, I had lots of friends, captain of the football team, you know, banging cheerleaders, doing cake stands every Friday. You know, I was homecoming king for God's sakes. And what are you now? I'm a half elf wizard. Can you say that again? Look, I'm a half-elf wizard, okay? 
And what's the other half? A huge pain in my ass. Why you gotta be so mean to me? Honey, I love you, but I mean, fucking please. You never know who you're gonna run into out here. I met a man recently at this very bar, claimed he was way into role playing. Told me he was gonna tie me up and whip me. Well, I'm, I'm pretty competitive, so. On my turn, I cast Magic Missile. I just don't get it. It's like, what does he see in that stupid game? I mean, if he wanted to play games, why doesn't he play a normal adult game, like Cornhole? I decided to get into the game as a way to express myself as a being of pure arcane energy. Here goes! I've actually prosecuted four out of the five people in the group. And then, I mean, well, with Glyphe, it's only a matter of time, right? Dr. Flynn doesn't actually think there's anything wrong with Calliope. He says she's just a bit eccentric. The goats are vegetarian, so the milk is vegan. I don't think that's how that works. Drink it. There's just something not right there. She's got too many goats. Way too many goats. Right? She's up to something. We've got some footage of her just frolicking, like with goats, and it's this really weird, like biblical kind of thing, but more of like a satanic kind of way. I'm a Capricorn. Duh. <laughs> I don't even know why I play with these geese. They just do the stupidest things. So why do you play with them, Larry? <sighs> Sorry. No offense, but I'm the one conducting the interview. So why do you play, Larry? I don't, I don't know, man. I like the, the swords, you know, the magic and shit, you know, beating up monsters. You know, it's sort of therapeutic and maybe even stress relief. Oh, is that for me? Oh, yeah. Sure. Thank you. Cheers. <laughs> You're a paladin, but you can cast magic missile. Really? How does that work? Really? Justinica has a holy edict from her god. I've been over this with Terry a million times. Catch your worst idea. I swear. I just didn't think paladins could cast magic missile. You would be incorrect. Any more okay. nightmares after the total party kill last month? Uh, well, I can't walk under rock outcroppings without hyperventilating, but my girlfriend Hazel says I don't scream in my sleep anymore. No, I did not say that. Progress. She absolutely screams in her sleep. You want to talk about druids? I live with a druid. I live with a crazy ass druid. The girl needs help. Dr. Leo Flynn has been studying the syndrome for the past 15 years. And despite losing his funding several times within that period, he continues to investigate. It's important to remember that these are normal people like you and I. They're suffering from a very real affliction. These are not monsters. You would not find them in Mordenkainen's Tome of Foes. Oh, could you hold on a second, please? Uh, ouch, look, I, I have to take this, please. I'm Terry Plummer, and I have Aeons. Aeons? Aeons, yeah, it's the condition I have. It's what this whole, whole trial's about. It is, uh, I've just never heard it pronounced, Aeons. I just use the acronym. A-O-D-D-S. Okay, well I, I, I say Aeons. Beholder, Dwarf Berserker. Bag of Holding, Dwarf Berserker. Displacer Beast. And uh, has Dungeons and Dragons affected your career? Hasn't. No. No, I'm uh, still a plumber. Level one. My throwing hammer gets a plus two against fairies. Can you even see my unicorn from there? I shapeshift into a dire octopus. Okay. Guess we all have different reasons for playing. It's a, an escape, a release, a rush. I don't think any of us have a problem, necessarily. Except maybe Calliope. Overall, 
Volunteering to participate in Dr. Flynn's study has been a positive experience. You need material components to cast certain spells. Couldn't you just use like lavender, sage? Hey, she knows how to cast her spells. Sorry, I just thought. Thought what? Are you a druid now? A botanist? A mental health professional? She didn't tell you how to put on your Axe body spray. So how about you don't tell her how to cast her own damn spells? Sages for noobs. Well, you lucked out. The Minotaur misses. Ugh. Cast Fireball. Yes! Oh, fry him! Yeah! Do you even have the required material components to cast Fireball? What? Casting that spell requires a small quantity of guano. What the hell's guano? It's what's required to cast Fireball, is what it is. Did she even read your spell? That shit's ridiculous, man. Hey, my old DM, hey, he never made me use material components. Really? Well, maybe you should go play with your old DM then. Okay, well maybe I will. Okay, well go do it. Dr. Flynn's methods have ranged from psychiatric evaluation to electric shock, primal scream therapy, and sometimes just yelling. He's even tried journaling and scrapbooking. But little progress has been made in identifying the root cause of AODDS. And that stands for Adult Onset Dungeons and Dragons Syndrome. Some call the condition AODs. I am not one of those people. It is AODs. What's your AC? It ain't the Minotaur's turn yet. He just went. Well, he's going again. Hey, Dr. Flynn, he's cheating. There's cheating. He's ignoring the initiative order you know, to punish me. What is your AC, Lawrence? 16 carats. You take 33 damage. All right, this is bullshit. What the fuck you gonna do, motherfucker? Oh, oh, oh! No, 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 no! Okay, turn oh, off, turn off the camera. Turn off the camera. Damn. Oh, stop! Oh. Stop! Cut off! Doctor Phil, Doctor, don't, film Doctor, me, don't touch my lens, please. Please, please. Won't don't touch your lens. Nice. Stop filming. He's not filming. Please. Okay. I just feel like documentaries can be so much more powerful than narratives, you know, because it's like real authentic stuff and it connects with people in a way that you just can't, you just can't fabricate. I, uh, I think your interview segments come through really well, really sincere. I think it'll work. Um, can you hand me the cucumbers? Yeah. Hey. <laughs> Are you film? Don't cut. Don't, don't film this. What are you? What? Just. I'm the director, which means the camera angle is missing.